Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and in this video I wanted to do an overview of this Hart 215-piece uh, mechanics tool set. Uh, the reason why I'm going with it is uh, a few months ago I got the 90-piece tool set just to keep in my car because it's nice and compact. And I was actually pretty impressed with the quality of the tools. I haven't used them too much, but I would say at least they're bare minimum on par of Pittsburgh. And again, of Hart being a Walmart brand, get them at Walmart cheap. You know, supposedly it's lifetime warranty, although I don't know if you go through Walmart or you go contact Hart somehow. But I haven't had that happen. But the main reason beyond that is the Hart tool sets are on sale right now. I think from what I looked up, they've also been on sale in the past. So I was able to get this 215 piece for like $98. I've seen some people get them cheaper if they're on clearance or something, but for $98, which you get still a really good deal. So I did open it and make sure everything was in there. But you can see there are some 12 points. I'll actually just show the whole the actual real piece, but if you can see that there, I mean, you, I would just recommend going on their website and comparing but one other thing which you might be able to see now is this is my Harbor Freight Pittsburgh tool set that I've had for like four years now. I've been using this, taking it to work, but I'd rather, this is very um, nice and compact. It's like a briefcase, it folds up. You can just put it you know, between a bed or under a bed or in between a shelf, just where anywhere you can slide it in. It's thin profile to where these are real big and boxy. These are good on a table or a, on a tool chest or something, but I, I don't want to keep carrying this one around. This one does have a few things that are nicer. You get some uh, needle nose pliers, so, but I think uh, you get some wrenches too, which uh, this one doesn't have that. So, but it, you do get, I think, a few more sockets with this. But that's probably the main comparison in that price range is between these two. Now again, there's Husky, which I think Husky is probably a better brand than all of these, but you'll pay a little more, but they're also in the price range. Uh, so then one thing, you have that cardboard sleeve, and then you have this big zip tie. I would recommend trying to just uh, slide it off, because first off, this one, you have to have a pretty big knife, you, know, you might cut yourself. And uh, if you ever need a large zip tie, if you could slide it off, you can just pry in this, slip this off, and keep it if you ever need a... I think you'll need a use for it, but, and I know I don't have the greatest angle here because it'd be easier to do this in like a wide open space like a garage, but there'd be too much noise going on in the background, so I just figured I'd do it here at home. Uh, you get this nice beefy handle, which is nice. Uh, these, these actually operate a little better than the ones that was on the smaller 90-piece tool set. So, slide this over some so you can, you get deep wells up here, and you get a nice selection, I believe these are all quarter inch, and that probably goes three eighths, and then half inch at the top, so they're nice and organized, they're really in there though, you, man they're tight, I think that's also three eighths, maybe half inches in a different spot. And then one thing though I don't like, you don't want to drop this, you might break the hinge. See, there's no stop on it. So you'd almost want to prop it up against a wall or have some provision to keep it from just flinging back, potentially tipping this thing over or just breaking the hinge off and ruining the case. Uh, maybe you can use that as a work mat or lay it on. If you have a metal nice finished tool chest, you could lay that under this maybe. So here's where a lot of the stuff's at. Now, these are 12 points, and then the rest are 6. So I'm not sure why they give you just 12, I think, in one size. But I guess that's better than nothing at all. Now, you do get a quarter inch. It's in the bottom drawer. So you got a big half inch, 3 eighths. And it looks like 3 eighths extension. And that's half inch extension. Uh, one thing I'll say that I, this is the same bit driver that came with the 90-piece uh, tool set. 
this is really nice quality. It's nice and heavy. It feels solid. I believe it has a magnetic. Might even be able to see. I think that's a magnet down there. This works really nicely. So this is a good one that you can get with any heart tool set. You get plenty of bits. Most of them are self-explanatory, but I will show these uh, Torx bits. You get a good bit, good variety. And then the rest are kind of standard, what we all know. So you get a 3 8 to a quarter inch adapter. This is a bit adapter, so this would go on a quarter inch drive ratchet. And then you could put any of these regular, I don't know what you call it, just a regular bit type thing. But, so that's this part. And then down here, open this. Kind of stiff, probably work its way the more you use it. And then here's a lot to get going on down here too. So, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, using these. I guess they'd just be called maybe a nut driver. Uh, I've never used anything like this. I haven't had a use for something like this. I would have preferred just some wrenches, but I'm sure there are people that use those. Uh, one of the main things I like, though, is you get all these Torx bits that are on a socket, so you don't have to use just a regular driver. And then you get, I guess maybe those are just hex bits. I've never needed to use those, but as far as Torx, down here you have T8, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27, all in a quarter inch drive. And then it starts at 3 eighths from 27 to T55. So, I, I mean, I, you could just buy a separate Torx bit set if you would need it, but this covers, I'd say, a good bit. Probably not everything, but enough. And then a lot of quarter inch sockets down here too. I think everything, I think all these sockets are all quarter inch. You only get one universal joint, which is the 3 8 And then just an adapter, I guess, for an impact. If you wanted to use your sockets with it. So, I mean, it's not too bad. Again, these are in there really tight. So maybe the more you use them, I mean, I guess if you drop stuff, you wouldn't want it. These would probably fall out because these aren't in there very tightly, but... Uh, and then we'll move to the bottom shelf, which doesn't have too much in it. And the one thing I noticed was in the few videos of this I looked up, it seemed like everyone actually got the, I think it's a 270 piece set, whether it was listed as cheaper or whatever. I think the 270 wasn't even available in my store, nor did I really need it. But if, I don't know if you can see over here, that uh, Pittsburgh when you do get at least a few wrenches. Again though, if you know you need some wrenches, especially the hard or uh, hyper tough or anything, if you just need a cheap set of wrenches, you could just buy them separate. You probably even just lay them in here if you didn't want them in an organizer. So all you get down here is your quarter inch ratchet and then a 3 8 six inch extension, a quarter inch six, six inch extension and then another quarter inch and a three, and then some Allen keys or whatever people call them now. But so I think this side's standard and this side's metric. Not as near as much of a variety as the bag that you get with the. Uh, I don't know. You can see like that gray in there in that little window. You get like long, long ones, short ones. And then the separate bags for metric and standard. But uh, again, if you really need something that you know you need specific, you could just buy that standalone. But yeah, it's kind of disappointing. No, no wrenches or any. You could use this part as storage, I guess. But I guess if you wanted to pay more for the 270, I think you you don't get you maybe get a few more sockets, and uh, you just get I think it said 14 wrenches. So again, for the extra price, especially since this 215 set was discounted, I think you'd be better off just filling in the gaps with a standalone 
if you needed anything else. I think I'll leave it there. I think this is about 35 pounds, so it's uh, fairly easy to carry around. And the uh, case, I mean, it's nice that it all comes in an organized case. Everything's labeled. Yeah, it's kind of tight, but maybe that'll wear in. One thing, though, that might not be good is if the hinge wears in and it flips over or breaks off. So, again, you might want to have an idea how you want to protect that. Or you could just take this stuff out, obviously, and put it in your own box. Um, I would suggest if you're looking for it, again, I haven't used these tools, but from using the 90-piece set, which is also on sale right now for $35, uh, I used that one. That one seemed to get the job done fine. If you're a dedicated mechanic or, you know, working in a high-end shop, maybe this isn't what you need. And this is a little big, maybe for just someone doing DIY at home just to have on hand. But uh, just to have an extra box or if you don't care, it is good for the money. And uh, keep in mind, if you don't need this today, I'd just hold off maybe, again, at $98. No, you can get it at that price. But with Black Friday coming up, perhaps it'll be even cheaper. Or, again, you can check. Maybe it'll be in a clearance aisle if someone returned it and had a broken tool or something. You know, uh, I would just keep that in mind. But I'm pretty happy with it as long as it gets the job done. Seems like uh, heart stuff's been decent, the few things I've used. And, again, you can get it at your local Walmart, so that's always, uh, for simplicity's sake, kind of like a Harbor Freight or anything else. But... Uh, Hopefully that was helpful. So thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.